Hi, I'm J.P. Riley, the Associate Editor for SecondsCount.org and a cardiologist at Oxner Clinic in New Orleans. I'd like to answer a couple questions I get about stents. The first is, are stents safe? There are about 700,000 angioplasty procedures in which stents are placed in people in the United States every year. The risk of serious complication is about 1%. That is, only one in about every 100 procedures has a serious complication. Stents are placed in the arteries of the heart when people are having a heart attack in order to restore blood flow to the injured heart muscle, or for patients who have serious blockage in the arteries of the heart that's restricting blood flow and causing chest pain, angina, or shortness of breath. These stents act as a scaffolding to prop the artery open and restore blood flow to the heart. While doing these procedures, serious complications can occur as they are invasive procedures. Those complications include heart attack, stroke, and rarely death. Angioplasty has been around for 35 years, and it's a very well-researched and well-studied procedure, and we're well-prepared to avoid complications and manage the complications when they do occur. In the follow-up period after angioplasty, stents may have complications down the road. The incidence of that is low and in the neighborhood of 10% or less of scar tissue developing inside those stents. If that is to occur, patients may have recurrent chest pain or abnormal stress tests uh, in follow-up. The majority of these patients are successfully managed uh, with increased medical therapy or sometimes repeat angioplasty, and in other cases, bypass surgery. The second question I get after placing a stent is, am I cured? Is my, is my heart fixed now? Unfortunately, many patients are disappointed to find out that the stent hasn't cured their heart disease. The blockers that, that we prop open with the stents are really symptoms of a larger problem that's affecting all the arteries of their heart and maybe in other places in the body. The stents fix the most severe blockages in the short segments that are severely obstructed. What the patient has to do and what their doctor has to work with them on is reducing their risks of new blockages developing or progression or tightening of the blockages that are already there. Those changes include initiation of new medicines or adjusting doses of medicines they're already taking, increasing exercise, improving diet, lowering cholesterol, controlling hypertension, and quitting smoking. These are the steps that you and your doctor will take to cure your heart disease. Thanks for being interested in your heart health. For more information on how to reduce your risk of heart disease and to learn more about your heart, visit secondscount.org.